Hey boys, welcome back to a brand new career mode on Rugby League Live 4. We're gonna we're gonna start up a, uh, a Tom Trebojevic playthrough. I um I don't know. I felt like playing through as a uh, as a fullback. Obviously, Manly have uh, have got some dramas going on at the moment. I wasn't actually planning to do it because of because of that going on, but um, it seems like the last I saw on Twitter that. Dez is basically gone next year and it looks like it looks like Anthony Seabol is uh is the man that's going to replace him which I don't know I mean I know he's he's sort of you know Seabold is copying a, a fair bit of flack for that but even as a Broncos fan you know and the fact that Seabold did not do a good job you know he did he did do a good job at the Rabbitohs so I don't you know I, I think I think the Broncos just weren't <laughs> they, uh, whatever for whatever reason he just did not get uh, get the best out of it there. But you know if he goes to Manly, I mean the the funny thing about it, and the thing I do find a bit strange is that Manly, if if Tom Trebojevic plays the basically the full season, Manly get in the top eight potentially top four right? Like there's I I don't think there's any doubt about that. <laughs> so. I mean, you know, it, it, Des Hasler has sort of been thrown under the bus a little bit because of Tom Trevojevic and his uh, and his glass body. I don't know. It's it's a bit strange, but obviously they're they're looking to looking to to swing things around for whatever reason. Um, but we'll we'll see how all that transpires. But uh, again, like I mean, what I just said before, if if Tom Trevojevic plays the full season, and I guess that's the big the big what if though. Ken Ken Trebojevic, that's a beautiful play from the from the Warriors there. I haven't even haven't even really talked about the game here, but we are taking on the Warriors in the first Auckland Nines game. I'll probably just do one Nines match and then we'll we'll get into the get into the full season because uh, you know it, that's where the that's where the mean potatoes is really. So we'll uh, we'll hop into that. But um, what was I going to say? That's a beautiful play down the right hand side. Oh, I think <laughs> big Adam Fanil Blake it looked like trying to make the covering tackle. It was a, it was a pretty big effort from the big fella, but couldn't quite catch Tom Dubojevic. But that, that's what I was going to say. Can Can Dubojevic play a full season without getting injured? I I feel like the way he plays, I don't think it's going to change for him. Unfortunately, I think he's always going to have niggles throughout the season because he does get involved a lot. And obviously, there's there's other players, there's other fullbacks that that run the footy, you know, more than Trebojevic does. But I think it's the fact that he's obviously just injury prone, and I, yeah, there, there's players out there that are like that. And Trebojevic is such a, a key component to defence and attack for the for the Seagulls, is that he's going to get involved and. And uh, yeah, th those little those niggles and whatnot are just going to be sort of magnified by it. So I don't know. It's 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 one of those disappointing ones. As that was a that was a disappointing try to concede. We <laughs> we got the big shot and um, they raced away and scored a uh, bit of a length of the field effort. So almost half time in this uh, in this first nines game. We we've had a pretty. I mean, you know, we, we've done pretty well. A nice covering tackle in early in the game. Uh, a couple of a couple of line breaks. It's uh, it's looking pretty pretty nice. You know, like I said, the Manly Manly have a good side, so I'm not uh, I'm definitely not concerned about the regular season going forward. Is another big shot there coming across Dallin with Tony Zalesniak gets absolutely monstered into touch. Great uh, great covering tackle there. Um, but yeah, we'll see. I, I mean, hopefully, uh, it, it would be great if if Tom could could sort of get on top of his his injuries but it's i don't know it's one of those ones that it looks it just it just feels unlikely right just i mean i i guess there's been plays before i mean probably the they've got for a field goal i i i know why they do it because the, i guess because it's not coded for like the nines where the time's different in this it's like oh there's only like a few minutes to go in the game we're level so we'll go for the one pointer which is which is quite funny but uh you know i guess we'll take that um but probably the the most notable example is is benji marshall benji marshall just 
injury riddle. I mean, James Tedesco as well. <laughs> James Tedesco. Although Tedesco, I guess, is a bit different because his injuries were more... They were more serious, obviously. Like, a lot of ACLs and it is knee injuries in general. Trubojevic, the thing that's concerning about Trubojevic is that most of his injuries are like their, their, their tears, their hamstring. I mean, hamstring primarily, um, which is... I don't know, it feels like you can strengthen, you can strengthen your, you know, um, hamstring calves, all that sort of stuff, but there's obviously a, a you know, a, a tipping point to it, so that's probably the more concerning part. It's not, the injuries themselves, sometimes they're, they're worse, but for the most part, they're not as bad as a, as a reconstruction, but maybe, maybe less likely to to sort of get away from as uh, a nice little try there we got a little kick into the end goal we called for the kick that's what i like about you know i was obviously i was playing that ezra man career mode but i i, I felt like playing just as a fullback just you know swooping around the back getting involved in the in the attack and uh being able to save tries when we need to so and uh you know they do a good job on on regular league life four with uh with the kicking like you can call for a you can call for like a kick downfield. You can call for a, a grubber. You can call for a chip kick, and uh, it works pretty well as uh, a high kick here. It's a good one. It's right. It's pinpoint just before the goal line, so they're going to force us back for a for a line dropout. And uh, the Warriors, they do get a chance to to snatch this game. They might get two plays in the in the last uh, the last little hurrah here. They'll they'll get uh, a good little shot. Um, it was a good dropout though, so they, they won't get too much. <laughs> they won't get too much opportunity. They're going to have to throw it around here. Last play of this first Auckland Lions. They go for the outside inside play. It actually, oh, I thought for a second he was away. I don't know why it got pulled up, but uh, lucky us, I guess. Hopefully, guys are going to enjoy the Trubojevic creep mode. Make sure to like and comment, and I'll see you in the next one.